Hi, this is P. R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange, a leading crypto trading platform. What a disappointing trading day! Uh, usually, uh, if there is a local holiday, I would advise my friends to close the positions to reinitiate position after the market opened. What happened actually? Uh, the U.S. debt ceiling issue was over, so because of that, the U.S. markets were higher. So we thought, you know, so we will also open higher. But yesterday itself, the U.S. market came under a selling pressure, and today U.S. futures were lower. Europe is uh, really very, very bad. And as of end of September, Europe closed at six months low. But again, in the month of October. The first trading session, uh, Europe was down by one percent. Now, second trading session, I think it is down another one percent. So, Europe market is looking very, very bad, and U.S. markets is very, very choppy, jittery. So, the global queues are not uh, working very well. And today, as a result, Nifty has fallen, and Nifty has fallen about one hundred ten points. But out of this one hundred ten points. The 70 point fall came only from three stocks: HDFC Bank, Reliance Industries, and ICICI Bank. HDFC Bank and Reliance Industries together they have 25 percent weightage, and both the stocks have fallen more than 10 percent in the recent past. So it looks like you know some people, uh, maybe some FIAs, so want to bring down that ma our market. So that could be the reason why there was a huge selling only in these two stocks. And look at the broader market, and even look at that today. Nifty is down by one hundred ten points, and the Bank Nifty is down by two fifty points. But mid cap index up, small cap index up. You know, I look at the next fifty is also in green. The broader markets are looking so good. And there was no selling in the broader market, but it is a concentrated selling in the index heavyweight to pull the markets down. So who knows? Canadian pension fund is uh, selling, and today morning also there was some news that Indian government asked Canada to withdraw about 41 of their diplomats from India. So this kind of tension. So we do not know where it is going to lead. There are so many positives for India. Monthly auto sales data was good, and GST number was good. Manufacturing PMI data was good, but nothing could stand in front of a huge FIA selling. And today also, FIAs have sold for about two thousand crores. And although domestic institutions have bought for thousand four hundred crore, but that could not stop the slide in the Nifty. Yesterday, I came out with the two pattern analysis. One pattern was. Uh, for the last six months, as and when the first trading session was in green, for the rest of the month, Nifty did not break the first trading session's low, but that was violated today. On Friday, uh, the Nifty low was nineteen thousand five fifty one, and today it is broken very decisively and closed below that very decisively. So that is one pattern analysis gone wrong. The second pattern last month. 19,000 put option had the highest open interest on the very uh, the previous expiry day, but that was not broken. But this month, 19,500 put option had the highest open interest on the last expiry day, and but that is broken in just two trading sessions. Although it is broken intraday, uh, closed above that, but right now looking at uh, GIF Nifty future. Uh, is looking very very pathetic because after our market close, the U.S. futures are falling even more because the U.S. bond yield is rising. So this bond yield is going to uh, kill many more people, even going to kill many more banks. And before, uh, you know, when this kind of thing happens, you know, some you know huge destruction had to happen. And we thought, you know, with so many uh, mid-sized banks collapsing in U.S., we thought, you know, the worst is over. But it doesn't look like that. So things are not going to be uh, so easy. Uh, the September month, the huge uh, negativity uh, seems to be spilling over to October. 
so that may last for few more days so unless something stabilizes globally uh, things are not going to stabilize here and also more importantly uh, FIA is selling we do not have the data uh, whether the Canadian pension fund is selling or not but the FIA selling seems to be very very bad they have sold for about 25,000 crore last month and then the first trading session in the October and they are again start, started selling. Broader market is really looking good and look at the State Bank of India. Today it is once again above 600. You may remember it was trading around 620, 625. Then the results came. So, you know, uh, the market came to sell off. It came around 550, 555. Now again recovered. Now it's above 600. So, among the banks, public sector banks are good. Private sector banks, only Axis Bank is good. So, except Axis Bank, all private sector banks are doing very, very badly. Uh, Nifty is trading closer to the support level. So, 19,500 is a good support. So, if that support is broken, then it's very bad. So, the next level will be only 19,200. So, that is where we started the rally in the beginning of September. So, it was 1000 point up, now 700 point down. So, if another 300 point is down, so it will be completely wiped out. So, you know, the investor, nothing to worry, 19,200 to 19,200, then nothing to lose. But the traders, from 19,200 to 20,200, you know, a lot of uh, call sellers would have made huge losses. And they would have sold put option. Now, that is bleeding actually. So, this is the choppiness of the market. So, nothing can be done. So compared to the global markets, our market's choppiness is not uh, really very high. But still, things are not looking good as of now. So, let us see if there is any improvement tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.